this show is fabulous. Fantastic. The format of the show is a traditionalist, a baby boomer, a Generation Xer, and a millennial. Really the four generations that are showing up at work every day to highlight the differences that each of these generations have. I've said it once and I'll say it again, ladies and gentlemen. Casual day should be Saturday, all right? If you got a problem with that, you can email me. I'll have my secretary, Betty, go ahead and print out the emails and then I'll look them over. <laughs> Hello? No, it's not that. We're the sandwich generation. Why is it I don't have time for a sandwich? <laughs> My baloney has a first name. Sing along! The topic of generational differences is really important because every day you've got four different generations showing up at work. And each of these generations look at the world of work in a very different way. And understanding these differences is how you're going to be able to recruit them better, retain them better, and manage them on a daily basis. If we can all agree then that there's nothing worse than bad breath in the workplace, why is it that the generations cannot agree on breath mints? Huh? Tic Tacs. Binaka. Altoids. My generation that came up with the obvious answer, Listerine strips. It's strategic entertainment. It's not just entertainment to get somebody to laugh. We laugh, but we learn at the same time. None of the kids these days, when you ask them to do their mission statement, care. They roll their eyes. Like, they don't know what the heck's going on. I'm all for missions, okay? You gotta have a goal. You gotta know where you're going, but couldn't we just make it more fun? I think it's helpful for generations to understand each other, and he does a great job of doing it. All I ever heard was, you know what? You're gonna be the first generation in history that didn't do as good as your parents. Wow, thanks for that pat on the back. <laughs> But I've been doing public speaking for years now, and I would go keynote in the morning speech or the afternoon speech, and I saw that that evening for entertainment, they were bringing in you know, this great kind of entertainer, but really it was just about entertainment. And I really saw a need in corporate America to have entertainment with a solid message. Well, first of all, we have to realize that no one's right or wrong, we're just different. And if you can embrace these differences and get to know the generations, you'll do a better job recruiting and retaining. It's, it's awesome. He's energetic, and it really allows us to be funny and recognize that we're all different, but that's okay. Now you have a very big menu for a coffee shop. Yes, sir. Might I recommend you the carrot cake cappuccino with a shot of Jamaican espresso? What? Now, I tell you what, why don't you just give me a, a black coffee uh, to go? <laughs> well, okay, sir, all our coffee is to go. What size would you like? Would you like a tall, a grande, or a venti? I'd like a small. Tall. No, I said small. <laughs> tall is small. <laughs> you haven't ordered coffee in a while, have you, sir? All right. <laughs> What is that? Fire alarm? What is that? Turn that off. Oh, <laughs> that's what you guys have before call waiting. A busyness signal. I'll remember that. All right. I thought that he was able to show how you can really work together and to focus on how you're similar and not so much on how you're different. I think some corporate entertainment really does play well for a certain audience, whether it be a comedian that's going to attract a younger generation, a piano player that's for the older generation, whatever it is. But what I love about this show is that it really plays well to a whole mix of generations. Put on that jacket for the coat and I saw me and I said, wow. It had great content. And I like doing the dancing too. I think every conference, meeting, company event, people really believe that their issues are unique. And you know what, they are. And I feel if you're gonna get up on stage and talk to them, you better have done your homework. And that's what we do. We find out what the issues they're facing are, what some of the fun things, the serious things, and we weave that into the show that they see this isn't just another show playing in another ballroom, but this is a show that was designed for the people sitting in that audience. So, uh, Ken, since you're, uh, you're, you're like a vice, you've got like some boomer type title, don't we you? Are, yeah, yeah, we are, right. Title, Why don't we go ahead and lead the group in, uh, in, our, in our mission statement? Take it away, Ken Cook. Of course, you probably know that about my generation, don't you? We're the, we're the generation we'd rather watch our kids sleep than attend another company function. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I, where's Wes Harris? There's my boy, that's what I'm talking about. Wes, you in the house? Soccer dads unite, dude. This is a room full of titles. You're important people, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of the most important groups I've ever performed in front of. I'm happy. I actually got some names, some titles, because we boomers love our titles. You know what I'm saying? Got a couple of business cards here. Let's check them out. What do you say? Hey, here's one right here. Steven Romano. Where's Steve Romano? Raise your hand. Steve, where are you? 
There he is right there, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna love this title. Director AMDS DND NRC programs. I've been with my company for 43 years. In that time, I've accumulated 472 sick days, <laughs> which is only three less than Tom Peterson. Tom, where are you? Well, I like how he applied it to what we're doing here and how important it is for us to have a teamwork effort and what's important to us and how the funny things he picked up on the funny things that we would see. It's so fun to watch people in the audience be like, oh my God, that's so you, and now I know why. And I think if people can leave with that better understanding, then the show really goes beyond just entertainment for entertainment's sake to really delivering a strategic message. 